them back down. I'm going to remember to bring my, my alcohol back with me. All right, another hit of whiskey. Get rid of that pesky pain. Uh, yeah, definitely time to rebandage. all the parts given how slow the healing is going to be alright down to the last floor only two, three yeah, three ways out of that room Know about the three by three grid. All right, so lights that means possible turret, so we peek. And there's a turret. So we close the door and we go about our business. It's really the only trick is just to watch for light. If there is light, assume you're going to get shot and proceed accordingly. And if you just follow that real simple rule, you will not often get killed in labs. Light. Eek. No turret. Way to go, and we do that. Eek, no turrets. Uh, don't need a butcher knife, and nowhere to go. Yeah, stupid room. No way north, no way east. No zombies in here for once. That's kind of odd. Almost always zombies in this room. Another apartment complex. Not, I don't remember ever seeing anything dangerous other than some zombies on occasion in apartment complexes. So, which is, I say things like that and then people immediately on my comments tell me, I got killed in the apartment complex by uh, such and such. Like, all right. <laughs> I'm just passing on my own personal experience. Yeah, there have been zombies of various types. I've, I've had semi-dangerous ones, but um, unless you're, you're being silly, you can run away from all the zombie types. Shock zombies, the worst, but uh, bio-ops are fast-ish, but uh, not your run speed fast, as long as you're not uh, running around super, super overweight and low stamina and so on. That's the silly death. Something's making noise. That's usually the noise made when zombies are gnawing on a uh, turret somewhere. Why I'm hearing it here, though, is throwing me a bit. Hmm. Getting louder. <laughs> Maybe it's in the room below. Having pretty, pretty bad luck in these apartment areas this time. Broccoli, a banana. No, no good books. Well, I guess we're going to find out. So we're down to these two doors. There, there. All right, we got a few doors, but uh, we're completely done up this way. 
So it's all south or that one door to the west. But yeah, that's the noise that I hear when uh, zombies are gnawing on turrets. You're not a zombie gnawing on a turret. Hmm. Could back over to the other room. Let's do that. Let's back over to this other room. I like to explore before I... Jeez. Alright. Hmm. Take care of that problem. And more zombies. Roller blades! <laughs> Don't need the cell phone. Do need the battery. Ah, right. come on, vending machines. Empty. Vacuum sealer with a full load of battery power. I'll take it. I don't have any toastums yet. I am bereft of toastums. It's a little weird to be toastumless at this point. Bionic vaults. Nope. Bionic vaults. Can't do anything about it right now. Teleporter. Alright. Every direction. Um <laughs> another auto dock. I have they upped the auto dock ratio? I, is anybody else seeing stupid numbers of auto docks? We're up to what, five in this lab? In this short little lab? Eight in the last lab I was in? Maybe it's just me. Multi tool I don't need. I don't care about the rest. Really? You regular zombies in here making all this noise? But maybe a regular zombie trapped in the corridor here making noise trying to get at the uh, cyborgs, I guess. Hey, where's... Where's the... Uh... <laughs> where's the anesthetic kits? <laughs> hmm... A little confused. You tell me it's just these regular guys making this noise. Right. Yeah, where's the uh, where's the anesthetic kits? I think that's the first time I've not seen anesthetic kits in that location. Huh. All right. Well, we're we're getting close to being done with this floor too. Another endpoint. Prisoner containment. Another apartment area. Let's just eat the orange. Come on, game. Last chance to give me some books. Oh, 
Something not the Bible would be preferred. Ha, <laughs> SICP. <laughs> I'll take it. Now I just need to get computers one to three. I need the easiest book. I've got the hardest too. I don't have the easy one. Already got augmentative tech. Well, they came through. They gave me some books, but um, not the one I need to bootstrap me. One door left, and it'll be another endpoint, and then we're done. There's no door to that section. No doors, no doors. Yeah, so just the one, and we're all set. What do you want to guess? I'm going to guess another prisoner containment. Useless three by three area. Oh, this is the prison. This is the prison entrance. Yeah, we're we're not gonna get the endpoint I was hoping for. We got the prison entrance. Hey, prison entrance. Yeah, not going in there. <laughs> That's a dead end. Nothing in there. All right, we're done. So we got some doors we can't get into. A couple libraries. A couple barracks. Still got 45 rounds of 9 mil on me, and then another 50 rounds of reload, which is, I think, very slightly less effective. So, still got plenty of ammo. Um, we'll get lots, lots more 9 mil. Took a little bit of shock damage. Other than that, we came out pretty good for exploring the last two levels. Um, get SICP and the Samurai Book Red. So, there we go. That's our list. <laughs> We got computers 3 and computers 5, but we don't have computers 1 to 3. So we're missing the lowest level computer book. We've got... Uh, yeah, we're missing so much. So much! I never finished the archery. Um, and we did bring back a little bit of food. And it helps that we got a little bit of meat too. That'll help me last another day or two. I think I got enough food at a guess for about three days, three to four days before we have to skedaddle. It would probably be in my best interest to take the time, get the healing done, get some reading done. I'm just mostly worried about having enough books to actually cover that period of time. I know focus drain is going to be just nasty and our, our int is not the best, but um, the only other things I can do short of maxing... I wouldn't even max survival. I usually stop at two. Eh, maybe I'll take it to three. But, I mean, that'll be quick, and we're almost halfway done with that. Uh, so we can get archery to two easily. Yeah, we'll, we'll get all this done in, like, one day. And then I can't get to fab five or fab seven anytime real soon. Tailoring three I can do. Tailoring three is easy, so then we could level tailoring up. We're missing the early first aid book. We're missing all the early books. <laughs> we just don't have a good book supply. We can't get into the uh, the libraries, unfortunately, or the barracks with our current gear. So we're kind of kind of in a bad spot for that. Hmm. 
Well, let's see how much we do get done. So, let's do, uh, let's see, 61 focus. What can I do to raise focus? Let's read that. And that. That takes quite a bit longer. Don't think I got an MP3 player. Oh, I did. All right. But I don't have a lot of batteries. Excuse me. I said to reload the MP3 player. All right, so we got music going. We don't have much in the way of happy making foods. Don't have a pizza. I need to get enough boiled water done that I can. That take me forever to do that. So let's just. Not like I have a shortage of water. Just go empty this out. All right, what the hell? Why is it not grabbing things when I tell it to? Oh, it put it in my inventory, didn't it? Unload. Jerry sure can. Cooking level one. <laughs> All right, so we got some clean water on hand. Have a salad to help get our hidden health stat up a little further. <clears throat> We've got bandaging and disinfecting going on everywhere. I can get first aid to one if I pop open one of the first aid kits and get that book. Let's do that. Uh, eight. Uh, just give me that. Everything else can go in the pile. Anything else I want to cook or prepare? I have oatmeal? I don't remember picking up oatmeal. Need to cook that meat up and use that sooner rather than later or dehydrate it. Let's, um, let's extinguish the fire for now. Put out the fire. I'm extinguishing the fire with my CX4 Storm. <laughs> that makes me pretty amused. It has a bash value. Yes, it does. It has a bash of eight. All right, cool. Now we'll read the uh, first aid book. I want first aid one. Desperately, desperately. All done. Now finish up archery. All done. Go ahead and do... Rat one and do survival next. I love reading lots of books when I got eight intelligence and no no reading bonuses, no traits. Book is actually held in there okay. Let's get a fire going again. Cook up some meat. Not the book I want. Oh, I finished that book. Alright, what are we at? 
Rifles 81, marksmanship 80 from all the gunfire. That's the other reason I like the Storm, by the way. If you're not familiar with it or why I'm enjoying it, uh, CX-4 Storm is a rifle. Fires 9mm. It's a rifle firing 9mm, so it's a... Doing okay damage, as you've seen. It's dropping all the standard zombies and security guards and shock zombies and so on with a few shots. But 9mm ammo is so plentiful. As long as you got maneuverability and you know you've got the ammo, it doesn't really matter if it takes three, four shots. Um, but uh, trains rifles, so I like that fact. That way it's uh, leveling me up in the early game with the most common ammo, and then I can start using the real guns later and have some skill in them. Alright, so... Uh, that one. And that was new too. Alright. And we're tired. Alright, let's stop reading. I don't want to pass up an opportunity to go sleep and get some healing. So... Rebandage and re-disinfect? I don't have that many bandages laying around. 24. I guess I do have that many bandages laying around. Plus I've got another first aid kit and I've got the uh, medical gauze. So we'll go ahead and do a new new level of bandaging. Um, yes. Uh, hey, we're up to average. Cool. Turn off the headphones and hungry and thirsty. Huh? All right, have your water and another meat. All right, let's go take a nap. See how much healing we get this time. Level one first aid and a fresh batch of bandages and disinfectant. Should be nice and quiet. Nothing else to worry about. So here we go with the. Um, Slow, normal healing with imperceptive healer traits slapped on top of it. My first time trying it, so... We're seeing how ugly it is. Oh, some bars moved. I'm mostly interested in those those arm bars, though. <laughs> I want to see that right arm actually make progress. We probably got a little bit of progress that I got shocked off of me. Still hasn't moved. <laughs> I'm getting worried about those arms. Ah, we didn't get a single bar again. Not even a smidge. Oh, man, that's rough. That is some, that is some slow healing. All right, I'm going to have to make sure I'm way more careful. But now I don't have to be quite as careless because we got the infection beat, so. Once we do get that back up again, we'll be in fairly good shape. All right, um, have some... Pizza again, and some milk before that goes bad. Activate the MV3 player again. Keep on reading. Get these last couple finished up. Oh, one of them moved. We finally got it. So it's healing, as I've told people like in my healing video on my YouTube channel. Make sure you keep uh, bandages and dis disinfectant on at all times, not just right before you go to sleep, because you do heal during the day as well. It is at a slower rate, but you will make progress. Ah, we're going to be burning out this MP3 player battery here pretty soon. And we are uh, down to just the mechanics book. Um, more pizza, more milk. All right. And then tailoring would be the next thing. Tailoring would probably be better for me to work on right now, since under the hood's mostly for vehicle stuff, and I'm not going to be doing a lot of vehicle stuff this run. 
So I need it for a few other things, but I won't need to push it as high as I normally do. It would be useful for bank vaults, but they're not needed anymore. So unless I'm going after strong boxes in uh, doctor's offices, which I don't usually need to by this point. There's nothing special in there that I'll get that I can't get elsewhere. Yeah, I don't really need mechanic skill. I'll take it to probably one or two, because I think I need it for some certain recipes. But beyond that, I don't think I'll push it. But I think we're done with mechanics once I finish that one. So tailoring is what I need to be working on. For that, I need to go get a bunch of rags. Which is, uh, yeah, not hard, but it be a lot of dragging. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get her done. It's important. I need to be able to repair my backpacks and some other stuff. Alright, uh, crowbar. Alright, go away, crowbar. need to scrap it. Yeah, that's good to take as well. Alright, so we got some raw materials. Let's do what are we at? Tailoring nothing? Tailoring nothing. So we'll do some makeshift bandages first. Um batches of ant. You can fix focus. That's tailoring one. All right, so we're done with that already. Let's read our happy making books. Get our focus back up. All right, so now it's uh, what arm arm warmers. Oh, that's right. I need bread or tool. I don't have a sewing kit. I'd have brought a sewing kit back. Hmm. We'll go with the wooden needle. Ah, damn it! I'm, I'm crafting things not next to the uh, not next to the bench. Not good. All right, arm warmers. Ends fine. Continue. All right, there's tailoring two done. One more level, and then we can start reading that book. Move you to there. And Balaclava. That got us to 80%. Let's do uh, three more. And level three. And move you there. Whoops. Damn it. Move my whole pile again. Hit it when I do that. Okay, now we've got sewing techniques for designers we can read for the rest of it. Three to four is not too bad, tailoring-wise, but uh, usually right about there is where I switch to books instead of trying to craft grind. Just uses up too much time and raw materials. Better just to read. You have that option. Get a fire going and get the last of that meat cooked up. <laughs> Lung full of smoke. All right, cook meat, cook meat, cook meat. Jerry can. Fire back out again. Oh, real bashing item first. Not tired yet. So at level four, I should be able to repair backpacks without too much difficulty. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for. Either four or five. All right, tired again. Stop. And how's our bandages doing? 
bandaged, but they're about to fall off. So, all right, well, let's do one more round. I think I'll leave torso and head alone. I'll do both arms and the right leg. All right, and off the tree again. More soy milk, burrito, and more soy milk, apparently. All right, let's go take another nap and see how we do. All right, they're both at two and a half. Let's sleep at 2 p.m. Right about 2 p.m. <laughs> Man, this imperceptive healer. God, that is vicious. I don't know. <laughs> I I might I think I'm gonna probably transition to slow healer or poor healer, which whichever one's the next up. The 30%. This imperceptive healer, good lord. That's two full nights of sleep, and we've gained one half of one bar. <laughs> Ouch. And, I mean, first aid skills got diminishing returns beyond about level three. So, yeah. <laughs> We're going to get some benefit. I think we'll get one stage above average. But, um, man. It's going to take... At this pace is going to take uh, like a week. Hmm. That, that seems. The difference between the imperceptive and the next one above it, poor or slow, I forget which one's which, but um, seems way worse than what it should be. So, I mean, we're only going from 30% down to 10%, but I wasn't having any problem getting healed up from the 30% healing factor. It definitely was different or slower, but a um, couple of days. The only difference from now to then is um, I got a little less first aid this time, but I didn't think it was going to be that big a deal. It just seems a little weird. Uh, all right, though. So, yeah, we're not going to be getting out of here as quick as I thought. Have our cooked milk finish off, our cooked meat finish off our soy milk. And um, let's reload the MP3 player. Not going to be able to use too many more batteries. This will probably be the last battery I can afford to use on that. All right, tailoring four. Now let's go... Activate. Uh, yeah. Activate. What's it take to make into it? All right. A new thread. Stop with that. Back. Yeah, success chance 7.8. No damage chance. That's what I wanted to see. Might damage it if I try to reinforce. Let's do the full repair first. Yeah, small chance we could damage it, but it'll then be able to repair back to normal anyway if we do fail it. Give it a try. Yep, we got it. Cool. And then, uh, can we do the trench coat? Ooh, we can do the trench coat. This is the poor fit one, though. Let's look at... Let's see. I've got a fitted duster on the floor. That's what I need. <laughs> I failed on the duster. That's funny. 
and then it fixed it and it reinforced it. Alright, let's uh, wear the duster, dump the trench coat. I don't need all these random things now. But I can make backpacks and stuff so we can do a lot better than uh, this random crap we're, we're dealing with. Come here, you. Cargo pants, reinforce. That'll refit them as well. Ran out of charges. Ooh, nope. Can't reinforce cargo pants. Seems a little funny. Um... Enforce the compression top. Alright, most of this stuff laying around me, I don't care. I'd like to get the fuel belt cleaned up, which I can do. So I get a washboard. Alright, so we got the tool belt. Let's get it loaded up with the hacksaw and the wrench. Hmm, it'll hold the soldering iron, will it? Alright, yeah, sure. Alright, so I'll have to refigure all the gear here eventually, but for now, pretty well set up. Hey there, pistachio do! <laughs> Thanks for the follow, welcome. Let's, um... All that's doing well. So pushing the first or the tailoring skill to six. Let's see, what is my list again? I have to get my fab all the way to five the hard way, given our lack of books currently. It can be done, it's just a little messy. Yeah, in progress washboard. Um, I don't have enough food to stay down here forever. We're out of pizza, we're out of meat, we're out of milk. So I'm going to start digging into this other food here real quick. And it's going to disappear fast if I spend too much more time doing this kind of stuff. Food. Food is going to be a bit of an issue. Well, I got cooking one. I need uh, cooking two at a minimum. I have no early cookbooks either. It's on the cook list. None of that's going to help. Got some eggs, that might do it if I make sure I've got good focus, which I don't right now. Alright, let's um Hey, verifiably human. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Help, I've gotten the calculator and can't get out. <laughs> yeah, that's that's usually the way it works. If you uh if you stick around long enough to get a few things figured out, and that's what my 
my help stuff, my tutorials and um, universities and all that is four. That really helps out. Getting past that initial learning curve. And then uh, you're stuck after that. You're just going to die in the Cataclysm over and over again like the rest of us. What's the brown filter? Uh, you mean the coloring? That's the new sepia color that uh, got forced on everybody with no notice. <laughs> Apparently a few people like it, but uh, I think the majority has pretty much made their wishes known and they're waiting for, waiting for a uh, PR to roll forward to give us the option to switch it back again. I don't think it's been rolled in yet. Because, um, yeah, I, I don't like the brown the sepia. I'm getting a little more used to it. doesn't seem quite as offensive as it was at first, but I'm still not liking it as much as I liked the previous one. All right, what was I doing? I lost track of what I was doing. Uh, I was going to cook. I was going to cook. That's right. I need to get my, my cooking skill up one more level. So if we do deluxe twice... That got us how much cooking? 30% just with that. Gotta be careful how much of that I do. It's gonna go bad. Still ready, alright. Do some more. Yep, and we're gonna be out of eggs. Oh, it's using my tuna fish. That's why. That's fine. Use the tuna fish. Cook them all up. Did we make it? We didn't make it yet. Oh, it's still got eggs. Um, fruit leather out of my out of what? What's what's it making out of? Uh. Bananas, apples, grapes. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna make fruit leather. Cooking too. Cooking too. All right. Yay. Okay. Let's have some more eggs. Our weight is fine. So cooking to survival one is important so that I can do, uh, in worst case scenario, I can go gather pine tree cone or pine cones and uh, pick up pine nuts. And that will uh, help us bridge the gap until we get some more food stockpiles because we're not going to get any here in the lab. We've already cleared it out other than the library vending machines and the barracks where some MREs might be. So there's no large scale food in this lab anymore. So that's not going to help. Yeah, it's the map memory is the coloring. So turn it off and you don't have to deal with it. <laughs> no map memory, no no sepia coloring. Turn it back on, you gotta deal with it. Alright, so we're not tired yet. We've got uh, we actually made really good progress on the uh, skills in that short amount of time. So I'm happy with that. I'm just hey look, we did get a, a note. We got another tick on our arm finally. So it does happen. <laughs> it just takes like a day and a half. In order to get a half bar on each of those, so you can see how long it's going to be before I get that fixed up. I I really need to get that first aid skill up another couple points. I got to go find that big book of first aid. And we got no convenient city with five schools like we did on our second map. Oh, that's so sad making. All right, so let's see. What was I going to work on? We're pretty much done with book learning, unless I push tailoring right now. Cooking's as high as I need it to be for the moment. Yeah, the strength 14 is because of the muscle log. So we've got uh, muscle augmentation plus two CBM for strength. We've also got hydraulic muscles, so I could have uh, what did that be? 34? I could have 34 strength. So we got a lot of goals. We got a lot of goals with this particular run. Um, she's going to be Stephanie Strange, Cyclist Supreme. 
We're going to be doing archery from bicycle back. <laughs> We're going to be uh, biking around and shooting things with uh, big old crossbow, not crossbows, big old ballistas if we can manage it. Um, compound great bows with 18 strength requirements, all that kind of stuff. We're going to do it from the back of the bike. There's a lot of, lot of things I'm weaving together with this particular build, and it's going to take some time to actually get it to gel. <laughs> right now it's, it's not quite gelled. We, we got some stuff to do. We got a lot of unarmed combat to earn still, so I can get the rest of the Taekwondo bonuses. Um, we got to get the bows rolling. Uh, we got a lot of mutations to do to get post threshold on Beast and get plus seven strength from the Beast line. So that'll jack us up to 21 base and then uh, 20 beyond that, so 41. So yeah, we got we got a lot of stuff to do. Or is this, oops, is this, uh, is this 25? No, strength 20. Yeah, so there's a few things we can do. Um, Just got to make a decision here. What to focus on. Now that I know I can get pine nuts to supplement our feeding and stay here for a bit still. Could keep pushing sewing techniques at tailoring 6 and then fab 6. I can start contemplating putting together a light survivor suit. That would be my, 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 my suit of choice for this particular character. I need high mobility and um, so yeah, I'm thinking light survivor suit, which at sixth level, I'll be able to craft without much chance of failure. Low intelligence, it could still happen, but it'd be fairly small. Definitely don't have the materials for it yet though. But um, so I could push that two more levels, get that finished up. That would give me access to the rest of the crafting tree for armor and such that I might be able to use. I could go chitinous. I could go chitinous fairly early. Hmm, especially since we have all the acinant bodies, I could go butcher up real quick for more chitin. Um, can't go gambeson because I don't have, I can't handle the warmth without with the other stuff I've got on. Yeah, I'm going to have to spend some time looking through this, especially if I go up another couple levels and then get some fab on top of that. We'll we'll have a lot of options. Hmm. Not too much in the range department. Really hoping to find a uh, a nice bow at a campsite if I can manage it. So for anybody that's joined in that hasn't used the commands or hasn't been watching chat, uh, on this one I am only allowed to wear or only allowed to use my bike. I'm not allowed to use vehicles. Not allowed to drive them anyway. Um, only use bikes. We may bling it up a bit. I'm not sure how much blinging I can do to a standard bike, um, but uh, we can't do vehicles, so I won't be building any any death mobiles. That'll save us a bunch of time. <laughs> There's a few things I won't be dealing with, so. That will help, but um, yeah, I think the character is going to go crazy powerful eventually, but it is going to take some build up to get her there. All right, let's do let's do some more reading. Let's do um, I want to do at least a level or two of mechanics. So let's let's get two levels of mechanics done, and then I'll think about where we're going to go from there. Oh crap! Put the fire out. <laughs> and, nope. I'm not sure why I had those doors closed. Alright, finish it up now. Much better with a good focus. Alright, there's level one. Not tired yet. Maybe we'll get the other level in before we need to sleep again. All right, we are tired, but we're going to let it finish. We'll get a good sleep in, see if we can pick up another half bar. I suspect that right arm probably isn't going to tick over again. All right, so yay, we got that done. Um, have, uh, 
bunch of fat or hold on to that? Uh, let's hold on to that. Have uh, pretzels and water. Right, I'm done with the MP3 player. I can't afford the batteries anymore. All right, gaze in awe at the awesome power of my healing factor. Let's see, we're gonna go to sleep at 12.15 uh, a.m. No alarm, no noise gonna, gonna cause me to have a problem. Three solid bars on both arms and just, just, just be amazed at how fast those things go up. Six hours gone by. Eight hours gone by. <laughs> Ten hours gone by, not a single movement. <laughs> oh, that's freaky. Freaky slow healing. Alright, let's have some eggs and some fruit leather. Don't need the whiskey at the moment. And the last pretzel. Alright, body weight still doing fine. We've been eating pretty well considering, and uh, I think our hidden health stats are doing fine. Uh, I did slow healer in my last challenge, and I didn't have a problem. It um, took me like two days to get back to full from pretty heavily damaged, so I don't understand the disparity between, between the two. So... It should only be 20% difference. You go from 30% to 10%, but it seems massively different. Whichever one's slower. Uh, I always forget which one between poor and slow is the, the worst one. <laughs> the 30% one. Whatever that one was. That's the one I had. All right, poor is 30%. Well, that's what I had. So I had poor healer, and it, it was fine. I didn't have hardly any problem. A couple days, and we we're good. Now, part of the problem is I'm still stuck at level 1 first aid, so I need to get my first aid skill up. At least another two levels. After that, you get pretty diminishing returns. I'm not sure I would push first aid unless you're going after CBMs um, through dissection uh, or CBM installs. So, unfortunately I am, so we're going to have to go that route. But, um, yeah. Alright, so yeah, we've gone through four sleep cycles, I want to say four, and we've gained one bar. One bar in four nights of sleep. Completely uninterrupted, full sleep, with, uh, oh wait, crap, I didn't put a fresh set of bandages and disinfectant on, that was totally my fault. <laughs> I didn't re-disinfect and bandage before I went to bed. My bad, my fault. Late in the evening, we're, we're coming up on eight hours. <laughs> I, I claim fatigue. Oh, uh, yeah, so that was lost opportunity. I understand completely why those bars didn't go anywhere. All right, I think what I am going to do is call it a halt right here. We're a few minutes off of eight hours. I don't have it in me to continue beyond this, so... We're at a good point. So we are on Stra Stephanie Strange the third. We had a couple of unfortunate circumstances for uh, the first and the second Stephanie Stranges. But we've managed to get through the worst of the beginning. We've got uh, decent skills. We've got some gear. Uh, we're in a safe-ish place. And uh, we got rid of the infection that we started with. So big, big accomplishments as usual with the uh, world settings that I use. We got a long ways to go, and uh, the character is going to start ratcheting up in power here pretty quick. I think it'll be pretty entertaining once I uh, I start doing the full bow warrior s rolling around on a bicycle with uh, 41 strength. Every time something gets close to my bike, I'll just boot him with my taekwondo and watch him go flying. So I'm looking forward to that. I think that'll be pretty fun once I get it all coordinated and practice with each of the components. I'm trying to bring together... A pretty complicated build between uh, various elements, and it's going to take a while to get the things accomplished. But I think she's going to be just stupid powerful once we uh, get a few things done. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Appreciate the support, all the uh, tips and bits and such, and resubs. Greatly, greatly helps the channel. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be live streaming some of the other games. Uh, not Cataclysm, but uh, keep an eye out, and I'll probably be on YouTube tomorrow. So, make sure to check out my 
YouTube feed or my Discord for when I go live if you're interested. Uh, I'll be following up on the games that I did a live stream of the other day. Either Fantasy General, uh, Oxygen Not Included, or...